so happy that you're safe and you're home. Me too. Me too. <laughs> me three. Him four. Oh, no. oh my baby boy. Oh, my baby boy. Look at you yeah. two. I'm so glad we see each other again. My sweet boy. <laughs> Where's Zach? Did you find Zach? He's gone. I mean, my goodness, you could have been killed. Why would he just drop you at the door and vanish? Mom, I'm fine. Well, I wonder why he would just walk away. Mother, Zach saved my life. I owe him forever. wife killed and then just runs off and leaves her first chance he gets. I, I, I know, Mom, but don't do this now. Kendall just got home. Don't put this on her. No, I'm just saying that Ryan would never do this. If Kendall were with Ryan, he'd be right in there helping her to put her little boy to bed and his little boy to bed. And he would never pull a Zack. He would never just run off to God knows where to do God knows what. Zack needs to do this, Mother. Honey, I just don't understand why Zach would need to walk away from you at a time like this. He has to get the blood off his hands. I scare you? It's all right. Cemetery, night, things that go bump. I owe you an apology. For suspecting me? It's all right. I was here, new to Towton. Odd. I treated you badly and I shouldn't have done that. An apology in return. When the attack started, I was flip. Women died. Sisters, mothers, daughters. I took credit to cover up my own drama. Shameful and ugly. Amazing what fear will make us do. who you are. I'm sorry. It's all right. I do understand, you know? I hated myself too, for years. <laughs> Something I'm still struggling with. I didn't want to be my father's son. So I became someone else. You tried. You made all of the external adjustments. New name, new life, just as I did. But you can never kill who you really are. Zack is wrecked by what his father did. That sick old man took so many lives. I just wish this had never had happened. Well, Mom, Zach, he needs to deal with everything that's happened. His father, his past, the murders. I mean, he needs to understand that he's not to blame for this. So if he needs a little time alone, I think he's entitled to it. I'm just glad that you're safe, that you're home and you're all right. Oh, if that killer had hurt one little hair on your head, I would have hunted him down myself. There were moments when I thought Alexander would win. I was terrified. But then I, I thought of us. You, Binks, and our legacy. And I thought about what you said, Mom. 
You remember when I sat right here on this couch and I told you that I wished I can keep Spike in a little cocoon all wrapped up so that I can keep him safe forever? Of course I remember. I told you it wasn't possible. Right. You told me to teach my child to face danger, to get knocked down, but then get back up again and fight. So I fought, like you fought and you fought. And that's, that's what got me through. That's how I survived. I would like for you to accept Zach and accept that I love him. I know that you love him. But honey, your life with him has been one disaster after another. Why can't you understand that he's not to blame for what his father did? I don't blame him for what his father did. Look, let's not do this tonight. No, Mom, I really think that we should. I mean, how, how can you forget what we went through? I mean, all those years that I blamed myself and hated myself because my father was a sick, twisted man who hurt you. I mean, that was so different. No, mother, it, no, it wasn't, it's not. Everything that happened, everything that, that was done in my life was because of my father. His, his sickness, my sickness. His sins, my sin. I, I, I hated him, I hated myself. And you remember, it was so rough for so long. But you get past it. That was because of you. <laughs> you and Binks. Because you love me. 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 For who I am. Separate from my father. Yes. I know. That's how my mom loved me. Well, Zach needs that right now. And I'm going to give it to him. I am my father's son. I always will be. And I'm responsible for these women's deaths. Oh, you're not a clone. You're the son, not the father. Right, and I thought about that. I didn't kill these women, right? No. But then when I had my father's neck in my hands, I realized something. He branded me. He made me who he is. What do I do with that? You'll have to find that answer for yourself. But I still have my brand, my man brand. Yeah. <laughs> and I still don't know what to do with that. Well, you can do things, medical things, procedures. You can do things. Yes, well, that's my choice to make. Just as you have to find your own path, and no one can tell you. It has to come from the inside. Well, if there were a procedure, if I could get my dad out of my head and out of my blood and out of my DNA, but there isn't. The man brand remains the same. Just as these women remain in their graves. You're not going to give up the guilt, are you? to my brave and wonderful daughter, safe at home where she belongs, to my sweet sister who lives every day with courage and love, and to Zach, who saved my life and hopefully will be on the way to saving his. It's getting late. I don't want to leave you here alone. I'm sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. 